Okay, so now let's go ahead and work on this footer that we have done here. It's obviously very simple. We'll just use Font Awesome for these two icons uh, and set up two different columns here and just have a single paragraph of text. We'll also add the quick, uh, oops, sorry about that, quick uh, CSS right here. All right, so let's come back up here. Now remember, uh, this is the router view. This is where our components for home and fact will reside. So we can just go underneath this and put in our footer because we want our footer to be always be displayed as well. So let's go ahead and write out the CSS for that. And as well, there is a footer in the layouts section or the tab of the balma.io documentation. So you can get or you can reference that if you want on your own. What we make a footer tag or element with a class of footer and color is primary. Div class here is container because we want everything inside of a container. And then inside of here, div class equals columns because we have columns in that container. And then also div class equals column Inside of here is where our first uh, paragraph goes. And I'm going to paste in just off screen or copy off screen some text here. And then we have a second one. We can get rid of this. Also, we're going to add a helper class has hyphen text hyphen write. And this is from Palma, just to write a line text. And then we're going to add in two links. For social icons. So a class equals icon, href, not going anywhere because this is fictional. I class equals font awesome, and then font awesome hyphen Facebook, which is the name of it. And we want to go ahead and copy this, paste it, and this is going to be renamed to Twitter and we'll save. If we go back, we can see that the default color here uh, is just a very light gray, so you can't really see it. But here are our two icons. So let's go ahead and fix up this formatting just a little bit. So we'll go back, go to the style section. And really, it's only just a few different things here. So we'll have in, pass in our footer, background color, is going to be the primary, and we're gonna make this important. Oops, I'm gonna add an important here. Color is gonna be white. All right, and then we're also gonna reference the icons. We're gonna make them a color of white and a margin left of 20 pixels just to move them away from each other. So we'll save that, and there we go. Now, obviously, it's all scrunched up up here at the top uh, because our home content is just this home text. So that's what we're going to focus on in the next section.